Annyeonghaseyo, welcome to the land of Korean cinema. I only knew two things about today's movie, that it was a period piece, and that it stars Cho jin and Son hyun ju two of the most underrated Korean actors. This movie could have been just them sitting in a room for two hours, I still would have watched it. So let's talk about Jesters, Game Changers, or Kwang Dae-du, Pung Min Cho Jagdan. So the movie stars Cho jin Son hyun ju Kim Seo-gi, Ko chang Sok, and many others. The year is 1464. King Seju and his men are worried about their legacy because jesters are roaming the country telling stories about the wrongdoings of the king. So the king's right-hand man, played by Son hyun ju hires a group of jesters to spread a different story about the king. Like I said, I knew nothing about this movie, so imagine my surprise when I realized that I'm watching a highly entertaining, mostly light-hearted movie which actually has a lot of relevant things to say. I firmly believe that history is written by the winners and I'm pretty sure that 99% of history as we know it is just a fabricated lie. This movie is a perfect example of how information can change the perception of the public. It shows how powerful information actually is and how it is used to manipulate the masses. And if you think that things are better today, you better think again. In this day and age where you get more information in 10 seconds than people back in the day did in months, you really have to be selective. You should question everything because most of what you hear or read is not true. The great thing about Jesters is that while the movie implements these themes into its narrative very well, the movie never ceases to be entertaining. Much of this film is a light-hearted comedy. I'm not saying that all the jokes work, but a large portion of them does. So if you want to have a good time, this movie is a good choice. The movie's message is not overbearing, so if you just want to chill and have a few laughs, this movie is for you. But if you like movies that are layered, if you like it when movies give you something to think about, this movie is also for you. It's a great combination of entertainment and art, actually. And in the middle of it, there's Cho jin character who's the leader of the group of jesters hired by the king. And at first I thought he was a morally weak person. He came across as an opportunist who doesn't care about how he gets to the top, he just wanna get there. So he wasn't really sympathetic at first. But then later, when he's confronted by another jester, he just says, Look, I heard the rumors. I read the book about it, but I wasn't there, I don't know whether it's true or not. I only believe what I see. His last sentence is a bit weird considering he's basically a master illusionist, but honestly, I couldn't argue with the rest of his statement. You should question everything, and drawing early conclusions can really cloud someone's judgement. So I think he's a pretty wise character, but the interesting thing is that most people will probably think otherwise, but it allows him to have a pretty satisfying character arc. Also, it seems like at least some of this story is based on true events. I don't know whether the king had actually hired jesters to change the perception of him, but something was going down in Korea in 1464 for sure, which just makes the whole movie even more interesting. But as I said, this is in large part a comedy and the way these jesters work is just hilarious. Since they're illusionists and acrobats, they create scenarios where it seems like wherever the king goes, some sort of miracle happens. And all of those scenes are hilarious, entertaining and epic. I thoroughly enjoy them, until reality hit me in the face because things haven't changed a bit since then. I mean, things did change, they became worse. The wizard behind the curtain has gone absolutely crazy. Anyway, all of the miracles the jesters do are absolute highlights. Some of them are a bit over the top, meaning they couldn't have done them back then, but they fit the story so well, I don't mind them. And on top of that, this is a wonderfully looking movie. It's bright and lively and colorful. There are quite a bit of beautiful symmetrical shots, the color grading is incredible, and the lighting is immaculate especially at night time. If you're a fan of good cinematography, this movie will be a joy for you to watch, as it was for me. If there's one thing I miss from this movie is the banter between the jesters. They're a five-member group and they work really well together. I mean, they have great chemistry. But if I'm being honest, it's only Cho jin who has a fully developed character, the others are just kinda there for the ride. Which is sad because every time they interact with each other, it works perfectly. I wanted more interaction between them, I wanted more banter. It's definitely a missed opportunity. Also, when the jokes don't work, they really don't work. There's a recurring joke about one of the jesters pissing his pants when in danger, and it gets old really fast. And even though I really enjoyed the dramatic bits, I think there should have been a little bit more of those. Again, I love all of those bits, and having more of those in the movie would have made for a more emotionally impactful movie. But overall, I had a really good time with this one, and I really appreciated how relevant the movie's message is, despite the story taking place almost 600 years ago. Jesters is a really well done comedy drama about the inherent greed in people, and the way people in power manipulate the masses the way they want to. But it never becomes overwhelming because of the movie's highly entertaining nature. I'm gonna give Jesters 82%. This movie entertains you, while also makes you think, which I think is very important when it comes to art. This movie excels at it. Go watch it. It deserves a lot more attention. 여러분, 오늘은 여기까지만 해요. 영상 봐주셔서 감사합니다. 이 영상 좋아하시면 구독과 좋아요 잘 부탁드립니다. See you very soon. 다음 시간에 만나요, 여러분. 안녕히 계세요. Bye.